Hi students, I'm just doing a quick little tutorial on the 3D objects um, assignment just to kind of clarify some things. I know some students struggled with how to complete some of the actions. So I want to review and do my own little video. Maybe you can follow along. Um, here I have a path, a basic path created by the pen tool. It wants us to create an axis of rotation. So this is it. We create a vertical line. Um, the thickness of the stroke in the stroke is not important, um, but of course you don't want to, um, you don't really have to have a fill, obviously, because that's just the stroke. So what you want to do next is create a guide of rotation with the pen tool right next to it, um, a certain distance from the axis. So if I go over to my pen tool again, I'm just going to create sort of what I think might be the look of a crown. Of course, I do not want to have a fill for that. But the shape of your crown will depend on that line. So you really may not like that this is so curved. You might want it to look more something, something more like that. There you go. And now the next thing you want to do is select both the create of the creative uh, um, created objects and group them. So Command G is the is the group quick command key. So you can do an in invisible box select and do Command G to group them. You can see a bounding box now around them, and we know that it's been grouped. The next thing you want to do is um, go to Effect 3D Revolve and set the parameters. Um, to um, left edge, 360, custom rotation, 7. So, effect, 3D, revolve. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow the parameters in the steps. And it says that it wants us to have a... Um, Seven zero zero. Three sixty. It wants it on the left edge. Plastic shading, a cap, and then of course you can preview that. You can see what it does. And so it creates an interesting, um, like a little cylinder almost like um, one of those loudspeakers. You can say okay. And then of course, of course you can um, change the color of that if you want to something other than the red. It can be a different color. In fact, I might change the color to this blue as shown in the tutorial to to make it a little more um, distinguished, um, to make a, distinct, a distinction between the shape and the crown that we're going to be working on. Okay, the next thing you want to do is proceed to the creation of the prongs of a crown. We're going to take the polygon tool and we'll click um, with the mouse on the document field and set the um, options. So the polygon tool is here. If you don't see the tools, remember these little tiny arrows are hidden tool tips. Little tool tips that pop up will tell you, but if you click and hold down, they're hidden tools. So you want to go to Polygon Tool, and then you just click right on your artboard. And if it's not set to pixels, you can still type in and it will convert it for you. I want this mine set to inches, but I want it set um, to 100 pixels. So I'm just going to type in 100 space PX. I want three sides. I'm going to say OK. And I want this to be red. Okay. Alrighty. So now I've got my triangle. And we want to keep the shape, but we want to rotate it. Um, so go to Object, Transform, Rotate. We have it selected. Um, object, Transform, 
rotate. I want to rota rotate it. I like to have preview because you can always see what happens and then say, okay, rotate it so it's upside down. And then we're going to take the scissors tool and cut the triangle at points A and B. Okay, so the scissors are here. And we're going to cut them at points A and B. And then we're going to go ahead and um, and remove the upper side. So to do that, we've got to go to our direct selection tool, select it, delete it. And then we're going to go, and we want to convert it. So convert anchor, anchor point tool is really what that is. But you click and drag. You want sort of a, a little bit of a U as opposed to um, that V that we just had. We want it to be a smooth corner. Next, we want to set an integer value for the width of the object so it will be convenient to do uh, further operations in the transform panel. You can do that or um, move forward and go to effect, distort, distort, and transform. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do an effect, distort, and transform, transform. Our transform effect dialog box comes up and what we want to do is we want to make five copies. We want to say 100, 100, 172 pixels, not inches. We want it to have five copies and we're going to have a preview on there. Okay, so again, if it's set to inches, you can do 172 space pixels. We'll convert it. We want five copies. We can go ahead and do a preview to see what that looks like. Oh, yep, it's showing what we want. So go ahead and just say, okay. Awesome, see? It's got sort of that same sort of um, U shape five times that we're looking for here. Now we want to go to Object, Expand, ex Appearance. Object, expand appearance. And so now it, it has grabbed all of those points. And we're gonna take the lasso, or we can hit Q. We can now select the tangent areas of the neighboring objects. So go ahead and um, hit Q, Q, and we can do this. We want to join these by doing object path join. And we can go back to that lasso. You can see what happens when I do that. Object path join. Object path join object path join you just want to make sure that these paths are now joined object path join you can maybe do them all at once too object path join and so you can kind of get a feel for when i click on this all of these are one now, if you click on one of these segments and they're not all selected, then you know that all your paths aren't joined. All right. The next thing you want to do is you want to take the scissors and cut the object at the, you want to cut the, the segment from here to here because we want to do a crown. We don't really want this upward one, um, one at the end. So let's go grab our scissors. You don't see the scissors. Scissors is um, C on the tool quick command key. So we want to um, click here, not up here. Okay, and then of course I, I need to deselect again and then select my direct selection tool to select that segment, delete it, delete again. Okay, again, 
we'll do the scissors. We're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to select this, go to my direct selection tool, select here, delete, delete again. All right. I'm going to back up just a little bit to show you guys. So now, now if I, if I go to my selection, yay, they're all selected and they're in the shapes that I want them to be. And now I want to go to my pen tool and I'm going to add to the pen tool. Wait, I gotta go up here. I don't want this little pen tool. This is the curvature tool. I want the actual pen tool. I get those confused sometimes. So I've got the pen tool. I want to continue on with this path. There we go. Select, close the path. Okay, one last thing. You wanna be able to select it. Awesome. You don't even need an outline. Oops, you don't need an outline, you need a fill. So you can just swap fill and stroke up here. Now I've got my fill exactly the way that I want for the crown. I want it filled with red. And now I want to go and make this a symbol. So you do, you open up your symbol. Um, okay, I had one from before, but I wanna make a new symbol. So new symbol. I'm going to call this crown three. I want it to be a graphic and a static symbol. And then I'm going to say, okay. So there it is. Okay, now we want to go back to this 3D object and we're going to edit it. So just select it with your selection tool. We want to open the appearance palette and we want to click on the edit function. So we want to make sure that we have our appearance pan, um, panel open and we want to click on on the effect fu function. So this is the uh, effect function. Um, the other thing we can do is choose the map art. So we've got appearance. 3D Revolve, Map Art. Yeah. Map Art, we want to go to our Crown 3. We want to navigate through here. There we go. And pick our Crown 3 again. It's a little bit big right now. I'm going to make sure we've got preview. We're going to scale to fit. Preview. I'm going to make sure it says shade artwork, invisible geometry. Both of those are here. Oh, it's upside down. What we'll do is we'll flip it. Scale it right within here. Hover. There we go. Say okay. Say okay. You can edit this result at any time. You might not like the way that it looks. You can edit that by going back into um, the 3D Revolve Options dialog box. Um, you know, after you go into 3D Revolve, you can certainly change it. Um, you can key in new parameters to your liking, but this is how you make a 3D crown.